get more leads for your coaching business. Every single day, we generate hundreds of leads for our coaching business and teach clients how to do the same thing. So I wanna share with you how you today can get more leads for free into your business. So we're gonna actually put this into a couple different categories, okay? We're gonna put this into the current leads that you already have, the new leads that you could be getting today and past leads. And the way I think about it is I should be doing lead generation activities in each of these categories every single day. The reason being is because your current leads is your current audience or your current clients. Those are people that you should be focusing on because it's current. Current equals higher priority. You should be focusing on new leads because without new leads, you'll eventually run out of your current leads. And then we have past leads. These are leads that you've had in the past that maybe you've forgotten about or you need to go back and retarget and warm up again. So you want to be thinking about all these things to maximize your time in lead generation. If you're a coach, first of all, you should be doing at least an hour to two hours a day of lead generation in your business. Because marketing and lead generation, one of my mentors once told me, it's like a monster. It needs to be fed every single day. Otherwise, the business will not grow. So let's talk about this. So your current leads. Let's start by generating leads leads there. And yes, I, t I what I said before was your current audience, but also your current clients. A lot of you forget that your current clients are leads. They could be buying other things once they're done their program. They could be referring friends. They could be purchasing uh, different levels of programs. You need to actually realize that your current clients are actually leads. So start thinking about how you can serve them better, how you can over deliver, how you can go above and beyond, how you can be getting them uh, to get you referrals or whatever it might be. So that's something you could do today. That's great. Now, let's also talk about your current audience. Most of you are not maximizing your current audience. Who is engaging with your content? Who is watching your Instagram stories? Who is joining your Facebook group? Who is opening up your emails? Who is messaging you? You can think of all these different things and this is your current audience. So one of my favorite things to do with my current audience is to reach out to people to provide value. And I talk about it as far as value pieces, I'll offer them something free that only my ideal clients who purchase from me would be interested in. So be generating leads from your current audience, from the people that are in your audience, engaging, interacting, viewing, messaging you. So spend time there every single day having conversations. The best way to find out if someone's a good lead is to ask questions and the answers would tell you if they're a good lead or not. So spend time in your current audience today. Now, let's also talk about new lead generation, okay? This is audience growth, okay? You need new leads coming into your audience because I always say, generating new leads, growing your audience, that's the future of your business. If your business doesn't have new flow coming in day by day, your business doesn't have a future. Okay, so you need to be growing your audience. I mean, just for some rough numbers, if you want a six figure business, we've seen on average people need at least 10 new followers per day. If you wanna be making 20 or $30,000 a month, you should probably be thinking about having closer to 30, 35 new followers per day. And so you wanna be doing audience growth activities. Now, this is where it gets a little bit specific to the platform because different social media platforms have different ways of growing your audience, right? Obviously you have Instagram with short form content, Facebook, a lot of people are like adding friends or running ads, LinkedIn, you're connecting with people. There's, there's different things that will grow your audience on different platforms. So what you want to do, and actually, if you want this, I can send it over your way. We actually have a list of every single thing you could do to grow your audience. If you want it, go ahead and comment down below. Um, cheat, cheat, cheat. Let's just do that. Comment down below, cheat, cheat, if you want all the ways to grow your audience. But you want to be thinking about activities that you can do every single day to get new people into your audience, okay? Now, the final piece of lead generation is past leads. And this actually also includes past clients, just like current leads also that was current clients were in that list as well. So past leads is past clients and leads that have interacted with you in the past. Maybe you've had a sales call with them in the past or they used to engage in your content or they used to follow you, whatever it might be. You want to be retargeting those people because those people a lot of the time already know you better than your current audience or new audience. So they already know, like, and trust you to a certain extent. And a lot of you are kind of like letting them fall through the cracks. 
And so go back to, I mean, a great idea is if you're on Facebook, look at who engaged with your content a year ago. Check out your memories. On Instagram, you can even scroll back and be like, hey, who was I having great conversations with six months ago, nine months ago? You can scroll back on your content on Instagram and be like, who was engaging back then that I have forgotten about? Go back to past leads and past clients and re-engage and have conversations with them. If you're focused on these three different buckets, not only will you have this incredible momentum built in your business, but you're actually going to have more clients signing up on a weekly basis. So like I said, if you want the cheat sheet on how to get more audience growth into your business, comment that down below but i want to see you folks actually spending time here because if you're not spending time on the growth elements of your business you're never going to have the clients that you want to serve if you want to have clients to serve you've got to focus on the growth elements so be spending at least like i mentioned admit basically an hour or two hours a day on this and as you scale your business that can look differently. You can have team members helping you. You can pay for more paid traffic. There's many things you can do to scale these traction channels, but you want to start here. So let me know if you have any questions, comment them down below, and I'm excited to see you in the next video.